Come here, quick, 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 quick. Look, look. I thought I heard a noise. I told you guys there was blood here. Look. What? Bro, look at the blue. Yeah, look at the blood on the walls. I think it's time I took off the hat in three, two, one. Let's go. Just welcome back to another video. So as you guys know, I promised y'all I'd finally take off the hat for one video after I hit a million subscribers. I'm currently at almost a million and a hundred thousand subscribers. Literally about to hit one million, one hundred thousand. That is insane. I never actually made a video thanking you guys for hitting one million subscribers. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for one million subscribers. I'm about to do something that I've been dreading. I don't want to do this. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I promised you guys something and I'm about to deliver on it. Now before I do this guys, before I remove the hat, the hat is finally coming off. This is what you guys are here for. This is not clickbait. The hat is literally coming off. Before I do this, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a story of why I haven't removed my hat in over a year for the videos or actually about a year and a half. It all began with you guys, literally. Every time I wore a hat in a video, y'all would say, hey, take off your hat, take off your hat. And I'm just like, whoa, why don't I troll and just keep my hat on as long as I possibly can? Why don't I keep the hat on until I hit a million subscribers and then actually take it off for y'all? Literally, the only reason why I never took off my hat is because you guys, because you guys keep asking, take off your hat, take off your hat. Well, guys, it's about to come off right now. Are you ready? I think it's time I took off the hat in three, two, one. Let's go. Just joking. All right, so listen up. I'll take off the hat, but y'all gotta wait till the end of the video, all right? Watch this entire video all the way through. Make sure you push the notification button on my channel because if you're just subscribed, YouTube has done this new thing where basically, even if you're subscribed, you literally cannot get notified about my videos unless you hit the bell, the notification button. It's very important that you guys do hit it. Yeah, so watch the entire video. My hat reveal will be somewhere in the middle, maybe at the end of my video, and y'all can see it there, all right? So enjoy the video, sergeants. As you can see, I am already in the basement of an abandoned, haunted mansion, and I've got Carlo with me. What's up? What's up, Carlo? Now. This place was given to us by a person who does not want to be named on the video. And he actually doesn't want to tell anyone where this place is, so we're going to keep it a secret. But he gave us permission to basically film here. He ended up sealing off this entire mansion because it was so haunted. This place is sealed off. Apparently there's cages and it. it used to belong to a guy before him. And this guy apparently did rituals on animals and apparently killed people in this house that we're in right now. So we're going to go and explore it, see what happens. Maybe some spooky things will happen. Keep your eyes wide open. Subscribe to Carlos channel he's the only one brave enough to be here That's with right. me so guys smash that like button let's get to this adventure all right you guys before I head up stairs I want to show you guys and try to see if we can find anything spooky here in the basement like I said and like I always say if you spot anything pin it down in the comments below I want to see thousands and thousands of comments so don't be shy to comment and don't be shy to smash that like button like that's all I really ask from you guys is to smash the like button I want to see 20,000 likes at least for this video if you can do it then you know what that would mean that you guys love these adventures and if you don't do it then it means you guys don't want any more of these adventures and maybe I should just quit YouTube I don't know <laughs> but smash the like button and like I'm risking it all and you know what's funny this place reminds me of Tom's house yo Tom my boy all right we said it Tom my boy oh yo look at these old newspapers let's see how old this place is 1968 Wednesday October 1968 how crazy is that 
There's more old school newspaper. Oh, they're falling apart. Just a disclaimer, if you ever go to these abandoned places and try to do what I do, I don't recommend you do it because it is kind of dangerous. Look at this. The foundation of the property is completely collapsing, which is one of the main reasons, alongside the, this being a really haunted location, is why this guy completely sealed off every window in this entire place. So if you do go in, be careful, because you do have a risk of getting really hurt. All right, so I'm about to be the first to go upstairs. Carlo is kind of scared to go upstairs, right, Carlo? Yeah, you go first. All right, he wants me to go first. You guys know sergeants are strong. We are fearless sometimes. Look how this, oh my God. This stair does not look safe. I haven't been upstairs yet. Whoa, there's cages here. What the hell is this? Yo! Disinfecting kills germs? Don't people use this to hide evidence from dead bodies? There's a raccoon trap here. <gasps> Whoa. What the hell was that noise there? All right, it begins already. It begins already. I'm just gonna go this way and see what we can find. Why is there, what the hell? So like I said, the person that was renting this place from the main owner had cages everywhere. Now the owner does not know why there was cages in here. And honestly, it's looking like a freaking zoo in here. Either this guy had a zoo or really loved animals and apparently he did rituals with animals, which is why he was tossed out of here. Oh, look at that. It's his kill on the mirror. What's the, there's like doors everywhere here. Look, it says kill Roy. Who the hell's Roy? That's creepy. There is a room in here. That looks like... What the hell? What the heck was this place? What did this guy do in here? Okay, so this is looking like there was chickens in here. This guy was raising chickens inside of this house? Impossible. I told you guys there was blood here. Look. What? Bro, look, at the, blood, yeah, right? look at the blood on the walls. There's blood all over that and there's there's a mirror in there that says kill Roy on it Really? Yeah, it's over there. What's in there? This is front door. Front door. This is guys. Dude, I cannot believe there's blood here. Huh? These are the stairs to go upstairs. Yeah. But I think this is... Bro, come here. Quick, 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 quick. Look. Look. I thought I heard a noise. What the hell? Dude, I thought I heard a noise. Are you sure we're in here alone? I hope. I didn't hear anyone. Look, look, it's moving all by itself. You know, when I first came up here, I heard a noise coming from here between the glass. It could be an animal. Yeah. Would have been the stairs to go upstairs. Wait, we can't go upstairs? No, we can't go upstairs. We blocked it off. What? So apparently, we can't go upstairs. There isn't upstairs. And look, it's completely blocked off. Apparently, a lot of hauntings took place upstairs in this place. So that could be a reason to why they blocked it off. But I gotta find my way up there. You guys know me. I'm not satisfied with this. This is just. Like this is it, basically what I showed you already in this house is it. And I, I, you know what, I ain't satisfied with that. I'm gonna climb the side of this building if I have to just to get upstairs. All right guys, so upon thoroughly investigating this place, this place, it ain't that haunted, it ain't that scary. We've actually been here for quite some time, we've been here for hours. We couldn't go upstairs, there's really no way for us to get upstairs. I tried looking from the outside of the house, there's no way in. All the stairways are on the outside of the house have been totally destroyed and the wall cemented up top where the windows were so we can't get in. I don't know what they're hiding upstairs but there's nothing for us here so Carlo and I are going to leave. Um, I'm going to mix this video with another video and so I'm giving you guys like two abandoned places. So this place is kind of cool but I need that good good. You guys know I only bring you guys quality so let's go to another video. So just before I move to my next location just to show you guys I'm outside of the house right now. That's the only way to upstairs and I'm all the way down here. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get in there. And that is why we cannot make it upstairs. And we have to move to a different location. We have a really big problem right now. Carlo, as he was walking out of the hole into the basement, he tripped and he broke his brand new camera. 
Damn, man, I'm so sorry, bro. The whole lens is bent right in. Yeah, it's... It won't even shut off, it's staying outwards. Damn, that's an expensive camera, too. Damn it. Guys, donate a camera to Carlo, Canon G5X. Let's see who's gonna do it. Donate a, uh, donate a camera to Carlo. I give him my second camera, but I gave it away to uh, my friend Joey, official, in, when I was in LA. His camera broke, his Canon G7X Mark II, so I gave him mine, my extra one. Damn, that sucks, Carlo. <coughs> what up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. Now, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today I am actually in the Six Nations Mohawk Territory, somewhere here in Canada. This is Native Indian, basically, territory. Um, I'm inside of an abandoned church. Take a look right here. There's this abandoned church. It's a creepy church we found in a little bit of a forest on the side road. Um, I wanted to explore it because it's kind of cool and it's got this history to it. The church has a cemetery that's apparently haunted. It's a native burial ground. I'm here with Carlo. What's up guys? So give Carlo a follow. He's gonna be with me today on this little adventure. It's gonna be a shorter video, I think, because this place isn't that big, but it's really cool. It's got charm, it's got history. The building's super cool. I want to show it to you guys from outside and I need your opinion. Um, let's, get, let's get this video to 30,000 likes. If we can get the 30, thousand likes I will come back here at 3 o'clock in the morning and do a video the reason why we did not want to come here at nighttime just yet is because we don't want to risk getting shot at while being here so we are risking our life smash the like button let me show you guys this cool church basically this is the abandoned church now keep in mind this church was built like way back in probably at the end of the 1800s to early 1900s and I'm seeing this old school furnace heater yo look at the floor it just sinks in I guess it caved in because of the piano I gotta be Oh, oh, oh. I feel like the floor is going to sink in. Does this work? Oh, there's no way that this works. By the way, um, shout out to Freaktography and Rhythm Rider. They gave me the location to this place, so their links for their channels will be down below. Ooh. This is cool. I wonder if there's a date on this book right here. Young Voices and Praises. I wonder when this place became abandoned. I usually have my gloves with me, but I don't have it with me today. I forgot them, which is very bad of me. There's an old Bible right here. Is there a date on it? No, nope, there's no date on it. Whoa, what the heck? Dude. This Bible is so old and it's so big. Why would they just leave it here? You would think that people would take their Bibles with them after this place becomes abandoned. Now, I know this church, literally, this is it. This is how big it is, but there is a creepy cemetery that I want to show to you guys. I want to see if you guys want me to come back here at 3 o'clock in the morning and risk my freaking life because, guys, we literally do have a risk of getting shot at just by being here. All these chairs, the floor has caved in. I'm just, I kind of like the vibe that this place gives off. You know what I mean? Like, yes, it's abandoned, yes, it's tiny, but it gives off a really cool vibe. Whoa. Carlo, we gotta be... Oh my god, that's so soft. Yo, I just found the bell. Look, the bell's right here. That's the bell. Oh, is it the tower head thing? Yeah, yeah, that's the bell. What? It works? Some keys work. So Carlo got this piano working somehow, and some of these keys work. Some, oh, wow. That's creepy. But that key just broke. How creepy would this be if this piano just started playing all by itself right now? Because this place is so tiny, I'm gonna head outside, show you guys how creepy the cemetery is. Let me know if you want me to come back and spend a night here at 3 a.m. Maybe bring the Ouija board with me and do a 3 a.m. challenge here or something like that, or maybe spend the entire night. Um, I'm gonna continue this vlog with another video because in my opinion, this place isn't big enough for a full video. And I wanna give you guys as much content as I possibly can. So yeah, man, smash that like button. Let's go outside. Maybe we can find a grave with Tom's name on it. I don't know. Yo, top my boy to show you guys how tight of a squeeze it is to get through here but it was pretty cool I want to show you guys the cemetery now so what you're looking at right now is the abandoned cemetery right here now it's abandoned because I don't think people are buried here anymore I think a few people still come and visit their relatives or their elders because there's fresh flowers on those graves on those tombstones over there there's a building over here I haven't explored it yet I don't think there's a way inside of that building there are all these Little tiny tombstones and graves. 1902 to 1966. Wow. That's how you know this place is old. Just take a look at how tiny it is. 
I thought this was cute. Like, I don't know why, but this kind of church is kind of cute. Because this church goes back to, like, the way back in the olden days. Like, when it was a small town or a small village, people would all come to this church and do their prayers on Sundays. So I thought it was kind of cool to look at and maybe get it in the video for y'all. Just as I thought, this church was built in 1897. There it is, Jubilee Methodist Church, 1897. And I, I told you guys, I had a feeling that this church would be around the 1800s, or late 1800s to early 1900s. All right, it's finally time, it's finally time, it's finally time. This is the moment y'all have been waiting for, for Mo Sarji to take off his hat. Now I figured I would do it here in Dominican Republic, which is where I am right now, let me show y'all. Literally, currently in Dominican Republic, Punta Cana, the Gran Bahia. And um, I felt like this is the best place to do it because you know, I want to get a bit of a tanny tan All right now that I got tan it's time to remove it. Right, you know, I'm stalling. I'm, I'm nervous I don't know why I, I don't know why I'm actually nervous. Should I take it off? All right, it's gonna come off right now Oh god, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go. It's off. The hat is finally off There it is y'all most RG without a freaking hat. You guys have been killing me for a year and a half for this for this video right here to take off my hat the most RG hair reveal is finally here. Y'all, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. My light just died. All right, hold up one sec. Ooh, there we go, we got the light back. Okay, so I got a bit of a tan. I'm kind of burnt, as you guys can see. I'm a bit sunburnt. I do have hair for those of you thinking I don't have hair. I got a lot of comments over the year and a half saying, Mo Sarji's bald. His hairline is dead. Mo Sarji, hey guys, even if my hairline was no more, who cares? Even if I was bald, who cares? Don't be judging people. You know what I mean? I don't judge people. People shouldn't judge other people. If, you, if you're bald, it's okay. Flaunt that shit. All right. Um, I am losing a bit of hair. Yes, I am. I'm getting much older. As you guys know, I'm 30 years old now, so you know, it's expected to lose hair as you get older. If you do have a full head of hair at the age of 30 plus, then bravo, congratulations to you. I'm very proud of you, but I don't, um, this is kind of, this is kind of nerve, nerve wracking for me. I, I can't believe I just did this. I'm literally sitting here in front of a camera with a burnt face from the sun. I'm literally sunburned. Like, look, I'm so dark right now. Well, if you guys did watch this video all the way till the end, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I decided to mix in another type of video in this video. I didn't just want it to be a hair reveal video. I want it to be something fun for you guys to watch as well. Because you guys know I'm all about that quality, epic entertainment. And if you have made it till the end of this video, smash that like button. Because Mo Sarji delivered on that hair reveal. Because, you know, I don't lie to you guys. I give you guys my word. When I say I'm going to do something, I literally do it. I don't, I don't just bullshit, okay? And I want you guys to know that there are going to be some new things coming to this channel very, very soon. Big series, like type of show, type content, really good quality content, haunted, abandoned, daily vlogs, really cool things about my life, things that you guys want to see. I get tons and tons of emails that you guys want to see more about my daily life. Like one of the reasons why I did not film anything here in Dominican Republic is because I wanted to be like a vacation for myself. I wanted to just chill, do nothing, hang out um, with my fiance, just relax. And you know, I've been grinding so hard on YouTube for a year and a half straight. I haven't taken any breaks. I've just been grinding, 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 going through hell and back for these videos, for y'all's entertainment, for you guys to do something, for you guys to have something fun to watch. I know life can be super duper hard, but this is why I'm here to make your life better. And I know a lot of you guys are addicted to most Sarji. So I think I'm gonna be making some shirts really soon saying I'm addicted to most Sarji. Let me know in the comments below if a lot of you guys will buy that. Um, let me know what you guys think about the most Sarji here. Should I make more videos with no hat on? Should I keep the hat on? I don't know. I, I, it really doesn't matter to me. And it's not gonna affect me. Um, any negativity won't affect me. If it did affect me from the beginning, I wouldn't be doing YouTube because we, us YouTubers do get a lot of negativity. But yeah, guys, on that note, I just want to say I love you. Be you. Be positive. And if you are feeling not so motivated about whether it's your hair or your weight or anything else or your looks, whatever it is, guys, be confident. All you got to do is think, live a little, live a little, live a little. And that notion right there will enter your mind like a hellstorm, like it'll, it'll, it'll be like fire in your head because it'll give you the motivation and the courage to do anything that you want to do, anything that you put your mind to. But anyways, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I told you guys I would deliver on the hat reveal, on the hair reveal, I should say. You guys are awesome. Smash the like button, look at that view. Damn, man, I wish I could have showed you all the beach. Maybe I'll include the beach somewhere in this video. I don't know, maybe I will. But yeah, man, I love you guys. Expect super duper amazing content. Expect a lot of videos coming soon from now on. I did slack a little bit, um, but it's because I've been taking breaks because I've been so tired from filming. But now that I've 
rejuvenated. Now that I'm feeling good, I'm feeling free. It's time to d make more videos for y'all. So on that note, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to be you, do you, smash the like button. Go to my Instagram, tag me down below with a no hat video or no hat screenshot and live a little. I'll see you guys in the next one.